Elsewhere, new guidance from the CDC, Centers for Disease Control, suggesting that any woman who's trying to get pregnant should completely, completely avoid alcohol. Dr. David Samadhi of the Fox News Medical Aid Team is here. No alcohol at all if you're figuring on getting pregnant? That's new, isn't it? This is all new and it's finally put to rest because even American uh, Society of Gynecology and Obstetric is saying no alcohol if you know you're pregnant. The problem is that we're talking about 3.3 million women between the age of 15 to 44 that go in and out of use of birth control pills. Okay. So they may get pregnant and not even know that they're pregnant and they're consuming all this alcohol and then you can end up with this fetal alcohol syndrome which can lead to kids that have mental retardations, okay. oh, seizures so and brain damage that, and all that stuff. That's the important caveat that you may be pregnant you don't know it and you're drinking all this and alcohol drinking. and that alcohol goes straight to your blood through the placenta goes to the brain and liver and other organs and you really have a, a birth defect and mental retardations kids with seizure and brain damage and on and on and on so bottom line don't drink that's if you think you're pregnant or if you're not on birth control and you think you may be pregnant, please check before you touch alcohol and you stay away from it. You thoroughly agree with this ruling. 100%. You're 100% behind Absolutely. It, no question about it. Even we though I love a glass of red wine. Okay. But I'm not going to get pregnant. I'm not running for president at this point. You recommend <laughs> a red wine, a glass a day, don't you? <laughs> yes. I, I'll get you all the, all the bread. Leave me out of this, okay? <laughs> okay. Mer Merlot, please. Just to yeah. help the business, I think that's a good thing. <laughs> Since we're on Fox um, business. Real fast, Florida declares a state of emergency because of the Zika thing. Look, it seems to me that this is a major scare. I mean, a lot of people are scared of this. Is that justified? I don't think at this point people should panic or should be scared. My take on this, the reason why we're reacting is because of unknown. What's coming up? And because of all the Ebola unknown factors, now we're maybe overreacting. Look, it took about a century for this Zika virus to come from Africa to Far East. About a decade to come to South America, and now we're seeing some few cases in Texas, in Puerto Rico, and other places. Personally, as a physician, I don't think this is going to become a major problem for our country. Okay. But, you know, if it happens, it's for pregnant women who may have, have to get this infected mosquitoes and the virus has to go to them. Those are, we, they can wear sleeves, they yes, can they certainly if, if, wear... If you're in that situation, if you're a young woman, you're pregnant, you are It's devastating. Threat. It is devastating. That's a devastating threat. So here's the take-home message from Barney Fox Business. <laughs> if you're pregnant, please don't go to mm -hmm. South America, to the Caribbean, to those places places because that's really a big center of this and you don't want to take a chance. Thank you very much indeed for articulating the position of Happy Barney to be company. here. Cheers. Dr. Samadhi. Thank you. So <laughs> good stuff. We appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Very good.